Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Thursday, March 24th. I said I was looking for movement to the upside in this NASDAQ market. Now let's see what happened here for Wednesday's action. And also I mentioned to you this is a false sense of security is the type of pattern I call that. And that structurally is bearish. While we do see some selling coming into this market, I wouldn't be surprised to see a down day for today, but I'm looking for a bounce by the end of the session. In other words, a shadow on the lows. Here in the Euro, it continues weaker as the dollar continues stronger, but we may be getting near levels that we expect buyers to come back in on that market. But let's take a look at the notes. This one's a little disturbing, but it does make sense in terms of what we're seeing going on with the stock market. And as I said, this is also a false sense of security, that red candle. That's bullish. I do not look for follow through to the upside, though, in the 10 year notes. I'm looking for an inside day in that market. And when it comes to metals, gold, you know, as I said, does want to go higher, but with no reason to go higher. And right now we're seeing it back off a bit. We have a little more ways to go before we can get a bounce in that market. And right now, nothing telling us to be a buyer at these levels. Also, over in copper, we traded below that bearish level. And the value between the bullish and bearish level in that market is $500 a contract. And what are we looking for? We're looking for another break to the downside, but again with shadows on the lows. And then crude oil, well, we've got some statistics coming out that shows that supply is still building. And I am looking for further weakness in this market today in crude oil. But soybeans, we're looking for a sideways move. And that is what it gave us. But it did trade below that bearish level. And the difference between the bullish and bearish level in that market is $250. Over here in corn, the difference between this bearish level and that bullish level, the magnitude of change, is $450 per contract. And I'm looking for a sideways move in both of those markets. Well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me, and I'm looking forward to being with you again tomorrow. In the meantime, take care.